minutes past four. Great to have you here. Good afternoon. Of course, on the ones and twos has got to be DJ Gaza King. Find him at DJ Gaza King across all social media platforms. And uh, if you want mixes of all the, you know, the mixes, literally, that we've had here on the show, you can find him on uh, his YouTube, right, Gaza? We can literally get uh, your, your mixes on the YouTube. Yeah, on the YouTube at DJ Gaza King. Yes, this guy yeah. is burning the midnight oil to make sure that uh, you, don't, you just don't get the kachumbari spice here. You get it afterwards. You yeah. can play it in your car, in the house. Whatever you're doing, you can just enjoy Gaza King's work. All right, in this hour, we want to have a very interesting conversation. And I've got a very interesting guy and an expert in matters business. His name is Kefa Mururi. He is a business reporter with Business Daily. So great to have you uh, on the show, Kefa. How are you doing? Thanks. Thanks for having me. First and foremost, uh, this is the first time with the National FM Drive, yeah? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a podcast, right? Yeah. What's the name of the podcast? Uh, the name of the podcast is Make Money. Uh, make so Money, okay. on how the opportunities are out there for people to make money. Right. And uh, anyone listening can find this on our Business Daily, their website. Okay. Uh, yeah, and we usually upload on Tuesdays. We are uh, doing a series of the first 10, so we have the first eight up there. Okay. Two more to go, yeah. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. So beginning of this week, uh, there's been a lot of talk on uh, the 3% housing levy in the Finance Bill 2023. Mm -hmm. And the one that has striked a, na a nerve is um the housing levy and basically yeah. we saw the press conference where ps charles hinga was you know making sense of it all mm -hmm. but still people are like everywhere you know there's the controversy here and there however people have not understood that there are, there are quite a number of other proposals in this finance bill yeah sure which is what we want to discuss right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. so let's begin with the first one that has you know a lot of weight and could likely cause a lot of impact in the country yeah for sure. I, I think first is to set the context of the stage for why we have these tax proposals. Correct. So we have a, an upcoming budget that's to be presented mid next month. Okay. Actually straight, uh, right at the mid of the month on June 15. Right. So it's around a 3.6 trillion budget. Okay. And somehow as always, you know, the government has no money. The money is in our pockets. And yeah. somehow they have to make those adjustments on, you know, existing tax proposals so, to, so that we get to know then what are the new tax measures. Okay. And so as part of these tax measures, we, ho we have what's called the uh, finance bill. Mm -hmm. So the idea is named after the year. So it's the 2023 finance bill. Okay. And so some of these proposals and uh, that controversial housing uh, levy mm -hmm. is also part of those tax proposals. Correct. And it's, uh, part of funding that big 3.6 trillion budget. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's now head straight into some of the proposals that we have. We'll begin with the digital one. Yeah. What's it? Uh, what's in it, and what does it mean? Yeah, I think the biggest thing in the digital space. This would be under income tax. Would be to digital content creators. Okay. So the influencers, you know, everyone posting so on social media, paid partnership, and so on. Exactly. So ideally, what this proposing is, uh, it's it's now targeting to go after these guys. Okay. So these guys have not been paying taxes to this point, and it's wow. proposing a fifteen percent withholding tax. Now withholding, uh, just as the name sounds. Yes. It, it's a hold on that income that the government wants, and it's proposing at it at fifteen percent. Fifteen. Yeah, so ideally if I'm a content creator, uh, you know, I get a deal, yes. you know, post and earn, say, 100,000 from it. Correct. 15% of that would be 15,000 shillings. It's going to the and, government. And that should go to the government. And that's actually one of those proposals that we do have. Yikes. Mm -hmm. That's just one of them. Yeah. All right. As we process on that one, mm -hmm. let's talk about another one. Yeah, sure. So what else do we have in this bill that we need to actually comp on and get to understand it and not just look at the 3% yeah, housing yeah. levy? Yes. Yeah, I think the housing levy mostly is because it's affecting pay slips, you know, the 3% uh, you know, on, on, on gross income right. capped at around 5,000 shillings. Okay. So split by the employer in half, that would mean 2,500 shillings. Right. And I know a lot of people are interested to know how does that hit on their pay slip. But mm -hmm. in addition to that housing fund, we have a proposal to hike, uh, you know, the contributions to NSSF. Exactly. Um, uh, sorry, this would be NHIF, sorry. NHIF. Uh, so this is the National uh -huh. uh, Hospital Insurance Fund. Right. So right now the cap is usually around 1,500. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the, the top guy is paying around 1,500 shillings. 1,500 shillings. They are proposing to go after 2.7% of your gross income. What? Yeah, and so someone earning 100,000, that would be 2,000, uh, you know, 2,750 shillings, so up from 1,500. So again, yeah. assuming this passes, uh -huh. then you can expect how the pay slip will be looking uh, at Literally. the end of July. It's really another, 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 you know, another deduction and a higher deduction while at that. Exactly. And noting that already we had higher NSSF deductions that mm -hmm. began uh, at the end of February. Right. And already that has been... 
uh, the pay slip. So, so now you anticipate cut, yeah. you anticipate the three percent, and of course, there's now the hike in the NHIF. Yes, and we we already had the NSSF hike. So okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty that's interesting. interesting. This mm-hmm. is in the finance bill 2023. Yeah. All right. There's also the proposal on uh, petro- uh, petroleum tax. Yeah. Uh, products that is the VAT. Yeah. What's in it? So uh, before getting on what's in it, th- mm-hmm. this has been pressure uh, mostly from the IMF. Mm-hmm. So they've been wanting to see a standard. Uh, rate of VAT across the board. IMF so, now International Monetary yeah, Fund. International yes. Monetary Fund. Correct, and uh-huh. what we have is that our standard VAT rate is usually at 16%. Okay. But just to incentivize or to cushion uh, Kenyans a, ri- a little bit, the mm-hmm. government has always, initially we never had VAT on fuel. So that was uh, VAT exempt. Okay. So then it, the pressure came about and they put it at 8%, or so about half of that. Right. Now they are proposing to put it at the standard rate, which would mean 16%. So that's down double. And yeah, and the impact of this, what we've done at the Business Daily is we've, we've run, you know, what would be a mock scenario of if uh, VAT on fuel is to be affected at the full yes. rate of 16%. Okay. And we would have fuel right around the 200 shillings mark. So super petrol would be around 190 sh- Six shillings, and yeah. you, can, you can see how what, what that would mean. Then, it's it's a further hit. It uh, is a further yeah, hit. And yeah. just the other day, um, on BD, you reported that uh, the price of bread is going up, yeah. and this, of course, has been impacted by the price of fuel. Mm-hmm. So definitely, we are looking at also hiking of prices in other products because yeah. literally they depend, especially if it's going through manufacturing. Yeah, they, def- uh, they depend on fuel and stuff. It's definitely going to go high. Mm-hmm. So this is also another big impact. Yeah, and and noting fuel, fuel is sort of a standard on every other thing. Mm-hmm. Like you might even go to, uh, to, to, to where you get your vegetables yeah. and you might find that there's an addition 5 bob, 10 bob, 20 bob exactly. just because of fuel because fuel takes, uh, fuel adds to a lot of things. That's so true. transportation cost is there, electricity cost is there when you're talking uh, yeah. production through thermal sources and so on. So it tends to have the biggest impact and I think this is one of those, I would say, dreaded uh, mm. proposals if it is to pass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting. Pretty mm-hmm. interesting. Also, transport has got to be yeah. involved in that as well. Mm-hmm. All right. What else is in this bill that uh, you've not had people talk? I mean, it doesn't have the amount of weight tantamount to the three percent housing levy, and it's yeah, it, it, yeah. it's inside this finance bill. What well, else? Perhaps this was the interesting one. You know, we're talking of going after, you know, beauty products. So right. we have artificial nails, human uh-huh. hair. I'm, I'm I'm just reading it as they put it in the bill. So we have exactly artificial nails. We have human hair, false mm-hmm. beards. Uh, eyebrows, yeah. eyelashes. Yes. They're proposing to have you know a five percent excise duty, and in effect is if you buy what lip gloss for a thousand bob. Right. I'm going it's going to, to be up by five percent. It's going to be up by five percent. So ideally, ten percent of that is a hundred bob, so fifty bob extra. So, so ideally, that yeah. So that would be ten fifty if we are to tentatively just add it. To okay. That. Yeah. So that's quite interesting because you can see there is quite the desire to expand the tax base and mm-hmm. who is paying for taxes and. Even the beauty products have been targeted. And they are being targeted. Uh, even the wording being used here by the National Treasury, they, they, they even do know these products, you know. I mean, it's, you know. it is very interesting considering mm-hmm. the fact mm-hmm. that now the salon money is going to go up. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. As a man, you need to be bracing up yeah. for salon cash to go up. Yeah. You go get yourself that fake beard. I don't yeah, know if who you can't uses draw a this. beard now, it's <laughs> tough on you. <'cause laughs> Even the economy yeah. has made sure the beard is not coming out. It's not coming out, yeah. Eyebrows as well, mm-hmm. eyelashes. So yeah. this is literally going to affect a lot of, um, you know, in the mm-hmm. beauty and mm-hmm. cosmetics yeah. industry. Yeah. All right, something also very interesting is uh, they're coming for compensation. Yeah, and uh, th- this quite, 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 it's really a controversy. If you, fo- if you, if anyone, anyone has looked at the Business Daily headline today, mm-hmm. you know, what we had on our front pages, right. we're talking about the controversy that has raised. Because ideally, the proposal is 16% VAT on comp- insurance compensation. Right. But the argument has always been insurance is never like an, in- it's not a gain you are making. You're just insuring Absolutely yourself not. against yes. a, a certain risk happening. Yes. And when they are to take away 16% of that, yeah. It's quite quite controversial. It is very yeah. controversial. Yeah. It is very controversial. You're mm-hmm. giving me an example. Uh, something happens to your car. They yeah. give you the exact same money, right? Yeah. So if you've insured your car for, say, 100,000 shillings. Yes. yes. Okay. I know it's it's quite the low value. That's very but, low, yeah. You know, yeah. this, this yeah. is just a scenario we're having. Okay. And uh, so ideally, I drive along and something happens. That guy's a write-off. I have to go to for compensation for my, my insurance company. Okay. Then they pay me 100,000 shillings. Yes. 
but the government wants 16%, 16% of yeah, that. Yeah, 16% of that which would, would be 16,000. 16k. Yeah, and you know the idea behind it shows is just to get you back to where you to were. To where you were. So ideally then so I'm these passes, you're definitely going, but no, you're not definitely not going back mm-hmm, to where you mm-hmm. are. Definitely, you're not. Yeah. So. Well, that's very interesting. That's mm-hmm. pretty interesting. Of course, you have this story out on uh, Business Daily. If you want to read uh, through, you know, Kefa's work, the headline is the A to Z of the 2023 Finance Bill. This is published on the 11th of May, yep. 2023. You can read it through. He has uh, at least touched on quite a number. He's got income tax in it. He's got uh, digital assets tax. We've talked about it. Digital content creators and all that. 3% housing levy, which I bet every Kenyan now knows about it because it's yeah. been the TV on the radio. We're talking about it. Mm-hmm. And the newspaper yesterday, the headline on uh, Daily Nation, it was the good, the bad, and the ugly. So basically, this is something that is very interesting. And then now, we anticipate when now people can start talking about it. The MPs can start talking about it. Yeah. You know, they start yeah. discussing, debating. When is this happening? Yeah. So what we have is, we usually have two stages to this. Okay. So once the bill is out there, mm-hmm. uh, the kick of what is public participation. Okay. So this takes two forms. You are able to send requests via email mm-hmm. uh, to the National Treasury and they seek, you know, comments. Which that. is currently happening, yeah? Which is currently happening. We Correct. also have a, a National Finance and Planning Committee at Parliament. They mm-hmm. receive those comments. Yes. So that has already happened and closed. Now mm-hmm. what is going on and closes on Monday mm-hmm. are uh, actual sittings where they actually do sit down. Yes. And uh, everyone comes with their proposals what they feel should be taken away or what what would be added yes and that uh rounds off on uh, monday is actually going on today up to 5 p.m okay so we are yet to close for the day f- today right uh, but that continues on monday then after that conclusion what happens is that this committee will consider every view that they've taken their own view plus mm-hmm. the view that they've taken from you know different sectors different players and so on yes so what they do is that when parliament resume it's been on recess mm-hmm. uh parliament resumes on june the 6th okay so just ahead that would be 30 of a week to yeah. the budget presentation yeah. Yeah. On, yeah. On, on on june 15. right they prepare a report and in essence what they do is we've considered this bill mm-hmm. we've passed through it the people the people have spoken about this mm-hmm. and this is what we are keeping this is what we are dropping mm-hmm. and they do a report so this would be a report of the national finance and planning committee right that's presented to the floor of the house okay and if they choose to adopt it then they will discuss it now on the basis of what the committee has recommended ah. yeah but the goal is usually to pass it before july of first yes because most of those tax proposals would be kicking in on july first Okay. So the idea is to have that passed and signed off by the president mm-hmm. before July 1st. Yeah. So definitely emotions are going to run high in the yeah, next coming yeah. months. I think that's the next, the big thing we are watching out for is this, effectively that in June. Absolutely. There's nothing bigger than that because there's quite the discussion. You just mentioned the discussion we're already having on the, on the housing fund proposal. Right. And we have all these other proposals that we'll also have to run through that house. Correct. And so a lot of emotions, you know, a lot of people will wait to watch out to do the members of parliament have the same feelings we have. Do they yes. share in our concerns or yes. some of our recommendations that we would seek to see there? Uh-huh. And ideally, that's that's the big thing for the month of June. All right. Mm-hmm. Eyes on legislators now. Yeah. And eyes, of course, in parliament. We are looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Kefa, for your time and, Thank of you. course, for helping us come through this. And uh, most definitely look out for his stories on Business Daily. Get to learn about the things that probably you don't see on social media and stuff. All right, let's cross over to some music now, courtesy of DJ Gaza King. I'm sure now you are very much informed. And of course, you definitely have videos out here that you're going to watch and uh, get to learn what we've just talked about. DJ Gaza King, let's go. Gaza King, DJ Gaza King. Nation FM, Nation FM. 